ask you a question in this video. What makes one brand more compelling than another one? Have you ever seen certain brands, when you look at them, they just feel a lot stronger? Now in this section, we've already talked about why most marketing sucks. And one of the reasons is because it doesn't create emotional impact. But what you're about to learn in this video is literally the secret, secret sauce for businesses that create massive impact, massive influence, and have people almost following them like a cult to get their products and services. And what is that? Creating a brand story. Now, there's this great book. It was a Seth Golden book, and he talked about all marketers are liars, but then it crosses it out and says, all marketers tell stories. And it's because we, as human beings, have been wired to connect with stories. Think about it. When you really engage with somebody, they tell great stories. If you've ever seen a comedian that you really love, just pay attention. What they do is they tell great stories that engage you, that pull you in. They give you drama, they give you ups, they give you downs, they give you highs and lows. And it makes you feel like this is something that you're a part of. Think of all the greatest movie franchises in history. People are in love with them. Think about the Marvel series. People are in love with them because they're telling great stories. So the thing is you have to ask yourself, well what I'm going to show you in this video is a way to use a structure that we've put together to tell great stories. And when you use this structure, you're going to understand exactly how to make people fall in love with your brand, even if somebody's doing the exact same thing next door, because you'll be telling a better story. So to show you how this works, there's this mythic structure, and I learned this a while back from Joseph Campbell. He wrote a book called The Hero of a Thousand Faces, which outlined this, hero journey, this hero's journey or this mythical structure that every story follows. This is the stuff that's pulled right out of the scripts of Hollywood movies. So if you ever watch great movie series, say something like Star Wars or The Godfather, they all follow this mythical structure. And the thing that we discovered is that you can use this same mythical structure in order to create massive impact in your business. Now, I've done this with multiple businesses, and this is one of the things that we used to do to put together these mini docs that really got people excited and got people interested in these brands. Because when they saw this, people felt motivated, they felt inspired, or they felt connected because of the story that was being told. And think about it like this. If you're the person telling the best story, well, you're going to be the brand that everybody remembers. And we know if you're not being remembered, you just don't exist. So this mythical structure outlined certain areas, certain things that... that heroes went through. For example, it started off like with the call, of, call to adventure. And I'll put this up on the screen so you can see a visual representation of this, but like the call, of, call to adventure, or you get later in, you got parts like um, atonement or the apotheosis. So it went through this whole structure. And every movie, every film that you watch that's great, that you can remember, follows the structure. So what we have right here in your booklet is a way for you to tell your story the exact same way so you can tell something compelling that people fall in love with. So I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna give you an example of a story. Just build it right here in this video together. We're gonna to do this, build the story together so you can see exactly how you could use this example to build something great. So the first part of a story is the backstory. So the backstory is basically telling us where the hero is coming from. So in this situation, your brand or you personally, if you're branding yourself more, you would be the hero. That's the backstory you wanna tell. And when I go through this, you'll understand it more. Next, what does the hero desire? You really think about that. Now, there's two things you want to have happen here. Not only do you want to have the desire of like the goal that the hero wants to accomplish, but also something internally that they want to accomplish. So something like, um, so you can see why, you'll see why this happens later, but basically something internally. So they have something that connects with the audience. So maybe, yeah, they want to make their first business, but also they want to feel like they contributed to, to society. Uh, yeah, they want to become a great speaker, but they always, also want to feel like they were making their family proud, right? These are desires. These are strong desires. And I can tell you, everybody I've ever worked with has these desires and has this type of story where they can find ups and downs that makes their story compelling. The next thing is what opposition that they face that really led them to starting off in this field or whatever you're doing. So what's the big challenge that you faced? Maybe it was internal challenge. Maybe you had to get over nervousness, shyness, fear. Maybe it was an overwhelming battle to gain money or capital. Whatever it is, you have to find these things and write them down. Realization. What realization that you, did you have that led you to ultimately starting your business, starting your company, or starting your brand? From there, what plan did you have? 
what plan did you take in order to start moving forward? Was it I saw a course, I met with somebody, I did um, a class, whatever it is, you're going to want to write that there. Then when you did that, what conflict did you face? Now this is very key because this conflict is what's going to create the weight to your entire story. And finally the last two, what's the resolution? How did you overcome that conflict and what achievement did you make? And then what self-revelation did you have at the end of that that really made you feel like this changed your life forever? So basically, I have went through that and I'm going to tell a short story here using this. I'm going to tell this right off the top of my head using my own story so you can understand how to use this structure effectively. And you'll see how much more powerful it is. So let's get right into it. Okay. So I remember when I first was getting into business, I had negative $107.35 in my bank account. And I had no way to understand how to be successful in business. But this was always something I wanted to do. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I wanted to make a lot of money, but at the same time, I wanted to feel like I was a contributing member of society. I was sleeping on the floor of my mother's house, and I just felt like a bum, and I wanted to make a change. Now, every time I went out there, I went out there to try to learn about business or learn about success, it just seems like it was too much information, and I had no way to figure out which was the right path for me. Now, one day, my friend, he she starts talking to me and he shows me this video of this guy on the internet who's making tons of money. And I looked at him and said, wow, that looks amazing. He said, the crazy thing about it is, I know we could do the exact same thing if we just start taking action. Now, because of this realization, my plan was to build a company that was around online marketing and we would sell products online to people so they could learn how to build businesses themselves. From there, we had all kind of setbacks. In fact, there were so many competing people that it was hard for us to figure out how we were going to differentiate ourselves in the market. But then we figured out that we had an advantage of creating video content. We were able to create films and unique videos that nobody else could create. So we said, this is what we're going to do. Once we start putting this stuff out, finally people recognized our talents and they start buying our products and, and purchasing our services. And not only that, I had finally learned how to become a contributing member of society. I had finally reached my dream of becoming an entrepreneur and feeling like I was worthwhile. Now listen to that. What is the difference if I'm telling a story like that versus if I just told you that, oh yeah, you know, I was doing some online marketing. Now, that story was completely made up off the top of my head. Now, some elements I did kind of use, but... That was made up completely off the top of my head. And if you've ever seen a lot of our content in our videos, you can see that we use these storytelling structures to engage people. We've had videos that have generated thousands, hundreds of thousands of views that we've done for clients and customers that have used this exact same story structure in order to tell something compelling. So all you, I want you to do is take this and really think about this. Take time to think about this and go through this structure and think about how you can tell a compelling story how you can take the ups and downs in your life and turn them into something that's interesting, that ties into your brand, your product, or your service. And I promise you, when you tell this compelling brand story, you will create something that people are in love with, people will follow you, and people will always want to be involved with what you're doing. On to the next.